Okay, so I'm going to create some folders in vCenter using the PowerCLI and also with C Sharp. So in the first case we'll use the, the PowerShell. So we're using the Windows PowerShell here. Okay, it has a, a CLI script and this is an example here. Okay, so for this we'll log in and then we'll create a folder within under Sock Lab here. The, the, sent, the case isn't, it's not case sensitive, so that will find that location and then add that folder. And then we have a file called sites.txt, and then that will go around that loop, reading in each item, and then creating a new folder below this folder that we've just created. Okay, so let's run this and watch what it does. Okay, so it's just going to connect. Okay, so there's the connection. And there's the folder being created. And then what we should see is these new subfolders being created now. And there they go. So we'll just quit that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use C Sharp to be able to do the same thing. Uh, so in this, this case, what we have is a connection that we make uh, and we log in. And what I've done is I've added in the, the VMware Vim. And we get that from this folder. Okay, and the VMware infrastructure, vSphere Power CLI, there should be a DLL called VMware.vim, and I've added that into here, and added it here so that we can get access to the DLL. So then we connect, we create a new client, connect, create a session, and then from here we can create a filter to be able to find our folders. So in this we can use that to be able to find certain parameters on an instance, such as if it's powered on or if it's Windows, and then search for it, and then for each instance, each virtual machine, we could power it off. But in this case what we're going to do is we're going to find a folder. Okay, so we're going to find a folder called Sock Lab. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder below it just like we did here. Then we're going to search for it again and then create subfolders such as these ones. Okay, so one thing I've done is I've added in an app, added in app.config, the password variable. Okay, so you can do that with inside app.config. And then we'll just run that. That should hopefully do something similar. Just takes a minute to connect. There it goes. And there's the folders being created. Okay, so that's showing how you can create folders with the PowerCLI.